Alright you guys, as always, welcome back to another OU game versus Kana from Reddit. And this, this is a team. We have an all Terrier here, so this, this is a real, real player. That said, I think, I really think, my bishop can do some good work versus all of this. Um, such a good work that I should consider actually leading off with it. Um, Forkbit is kind of right, does pressure the team naturally, doesn't enjoy necessarily Clefable, Disease could do a whole lot. Lambda is heavily maneuvered and outnumbered in most of these matchups, and a very, very strong sack play if um, Hassid's are as a thing. But I think I'd be good at leading off with Chimbu, because basically whatever he leads off with, I can, I can disrupt things. Quite well, and knockoff does look to be a good play, and Clefable do not want to enjoy any hits that I can do. Only Pokemon I feel are tough for... But that goes no matter what I do. Um, tough Bishop is Malodic. Malodic overall is actually a really good Pokemon versus me specifically. Whereas only Satos can probably pressure that. Leads up with Altaria. Which, I may believe this could be a trapping variant. Most likely with Fospin. Um, and that's not a good thing. Don't have any means of pivots. There's a Dragon Dance variant with Earthquake, that could also be interesting. I'm gonna actually just send him Fork Bit. Because I can stomp again if it hit it throws at me. I really hope it's a Parish Trapping one, but at least by then I do KO it in return and force it out. Cotton Guard. Ooh. That's that's new. That's not right. Still, Ice Flute Crash should do alright. Flamethrower. That's not gonna um, do a whole lot, actually, but yeah. I mean, the burn is a thing. Jinx it, crying out loud. Cotton Guard. Ooh. So much for that. Trying to roost that off, bastard. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, Connor. Sorry. I don't know if that was greed or whatnot. That crit would have helped before, though. Anyway, Malodic comes in. <laughs> For sure. Um, I have tremendous issues versus Malodic. It, it's not... Uh, oh, Metagross. I can't do Metagross, I think. I, I'm not super worried or maybe a little bit maybe a little bit what can he do yes I'm just throwing out there what can he do could be a jealousy set could be a self rock set could you just go for earthquake or a meteor mash let's see gonna get some drizzle and we are going to see meteor mash good gonna soak that all right don't get boost and attack. Thank you. There's no way it keeps keeps going for that. For sure. Sulfur is a good switch in overall. Don't lose too much by going for Wither Ball, do I? Nah, I don't. Um, I like this play. It's... Yeah. This allows me to do some good damage. That said... Thunder Punch is a thing, and that could be a Salt Vest, which it wasn't. Sun Headbutt should do a lot, even kill in some cases. <sighs> that was always a risk. Right, Disease, you're up. That's a nice nickname. Um, wow, that, that actually killed. That's not good. He doesn't enjoy switching into this, however, so... Wait, did he have any floaters on the team? He didn't, so Earthquake is actually quite alright. Bullet Punch. Yeah, that should do a damage. Easily over half. Yeah. So his Metagross got the best of me, for sure. This exchange is not that impressive for me. Um, ah, that's rough, actually. That's very rough. 
If Tyrantor comes in, that would be nice. If Malota comes in, then uh, it's time to kind of... To kind of... Yeah. What I do versus this, really? I'm sending a Lambda, of course, but I don't believe Lambda beats it. That's the problem. I think a combination of Ice Beam and whatnot is plenty to uh, throw me off. Scold. It's alright if he gets to burn. I'm switching back and forth. I think Lefable comes into this. Or it's something I would consider. If he goes for Ice Beam, I might not be able to stomach it. He has Ice Beam. Nice. <sighs> oh, oh, oh! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I could absolutely be slower, however. And it was Icy Wind and Ice Beam. That's a combination, though. I, li I like it. I like that a lot, to be honest. So now I need somehow to disrupt and force in um, Tyranitar. Which means I'll easily U-turn here. Without a doubt in my mind, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <sighs> this, this is a mad lad. He is staying in on this. Why would he do that? Does he have Mirror Coat? Is he a Salt Vest? Do I have any switch in? We are asking all the questions here. He's just gonna keep Ice Beam, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. This person is mad. Oh no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. You're. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. <laughs> At least if I can fall. No, no. Oh shit, this is not turning out great for me. Um, so Melodic is now a premier threat for me. It already was, but now it kinda... Now, it, now it actually is. All right, we are going for our specs thunderbolts. No, no tomorrow, no tomorrow, no sir. We are heavily relying on uh, my capabilities of not over predicting anything here. You sly monster, stay in. Don't be a salt vest. Die, crying out loud. Thank you. Shit. What's <laughs> like? What can I do? Oh. Wow. I barely remember his arena monk. Clefable, Tyranitar. It's one more. Yeah, this is like. I expected this. I wanted this way, way before he threw it in at me. Let's see. Gengar. I don't like Gengar. Not one bit. But, basically, what can Sulphur do versus any of these remaining mons? I guess the least amount of damage from it, but I think any chip on this guy is plenty. Right? Stone Edge, that's gonna pop me. <laughs> there we go, right. So, so. If I were a crazy person... Oh no. No, no! No! Why did that happen? I'm still alive, damn it! Well... That's an unconcluded game. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this game. Sorry about that. Bye. <laughs>